right, right there. Um, I guess when you talk about part of your job with your 120 uh, individuals to regulate the various casinos, part of your regulation, or is it is it written anywhere for you to regulate the tribes were given this right and they have now all this money that is supposed to be helping make them self-sufficient, but yet they still receive millions and millions of tax dollars in HUD money and, and roads and food yeah. and whatever. That really is not very accountable. And yet, so who is regulating that? Now, we certainly are not. Yeah. We have absolutely nothing to say about. But, but the money, most of it's coming out of the BIA. No, 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 no. The, the, uh, the HUD money is coming from HUD. The HHS money is, com is coming the, you know, from um, HEL. Uh, energy. I mean, all these agencies uh, so give money to the. Does to the anybody work together in the federal government? No. <laughs> no, it's it's <laughs> it's interesting. Well, may I suggest that another agency hangs out with the head of that agency? <laughs> you know, it, my niece uh, was in um, was at a summer project a couple of years ago, uh, working for a law professor, and she wanted to. He wanted to find out. What money from the federal government came to the tribes in Montana? And so she asked for my help, and I said, well, well look, and we, we can do it. We, there was no one, unless you're going to go, and there, the tribes are certainly not going to tell you. Yeah. I mean, you could go there, but that's not going to help. But independently to try to track what, what the tribes are getting from all the various federal uh, agencies is, is next to impossible. I certainly could not do it. In fact, it's hard to find, you know, you'd have to go down to the BIA just to find which, how much money a tribe is getting from BIA per tribe. So that's, that's fairly difficult. Don't you find it a little odd that our federal government is giving millions of dollars to tribes and they don't need to be held accountable about how it's being spent? No, they're, it's, they are. It's, it's our money that no, we're, we're giving. No, they are being held accountable by the various agents for the respective monies that they're getting, I'm sure. That's that's a question of odd. Well, I'm sure they're not. Well, they're supposed to be. Um, I mean, but don't you find that odd? And I mean, as, as the Bureau of Indian Affairs, I think your job is more than just gaming and whatever money you give them, that you should be overseeing the affairs of the tribes. No, we're, we're, we're only overseeing the funding for programs that we administer. So in other words, if we give them money for roads, we're going to make sure they're spent on, on roads. Um, but if they're getting money from from HUD for building houses, we're not, you know, that's HUD's job. Well, that so. goes back to the comment that maybe all these different agencies need to get together yeah, and, well, and talk about <laughs> this. <laughs> yes.